Hi children, today we're going to learn about the layers of the earth. Did you know that the earth has multiple layers? When you go out for a walk, what do you see? Depending on where you live, you may see grass, or you may see houses, apartments, or even a school. You may see a lake, some ponds, or a stream. Or you may even see a mountain and some dry land. And all of these landforms and waterforms are part of the Earth's crust. Let's imagine the Earth, which is like a big ball, is cut. What do you think we will see inside? The Earth has different layers. Do you know how many layers the Earth has? Scientists have studied about the Earth and have shared some useful information with us. And look, the earth has four layers. Like the layers of an onion, if you peel it, you get close to the center. The center of the earth is called the core. The earth has four layers. The crust is the outermost where we live. Then you have the mantle, the outer core and the inner core, which is the center of the earth. Billions of years ago, when the earth was made, it was very hot. Over time, the outside layer cooled and formed the crust. Now let's look at the earth and all its four layers. The crust is the thin outer layer of the earth where we live. This is where we see different landforms and waterforms. Our continents and oceans are all on the crust of planet Earth. All life, plants, flowers, animals are on the crust. Even our home and our school and where we are sitting right now is on the crust of the Earth. The mantle is the second layer of the Earth. It is a very thick layer made up of molten or melted rocks. Sometimes hot lava comes out from the mantle of this earth in the crust in the form of volcanoes. The outer core is the third layer of the earth. It is the only liquid layer and it is made up of very hot metals, iron and nickel. And this is what gives the earth a magnetic field. The inner core is the center of the earth. It is the hottest part of the earth, almost as hot as the sun. Okay, children, you have learned about the earth and its layers. Are you now ready for a quiz? What is this layer called? is this layer called? What is this layer called? What is this layer called? It's no mistake. First the cross, hard hard stone. The mantles next, a very hot stone. The outer core, then one more. The hottest part, the inner core. Layers, layers, yes there are four. From the cross to the core. Children, are you all ready to sing along with me? Let's sing together. Layers, layers like a cake. The earth has layers, it's no mistake. First the cross, hard, hard stone. The mantles next, a very hot stone. The outer core, then one more, the hottest.
this part, the inner core. Layers, layers, yes, there are four. From the cross to the core. Now we're going to make layers of the earth. In your learning kit, you have this. It says layers of the earth. Okay, now let's take out what we have over here. Okay, children, so with all of this, first we are going to make layers of the earth. Okay, this is, remember, this is what our earth looks like, right? We're all going to make an earth and then we are also going to cut it and name all the parts are you ready wow i'm excited and today we have with us miss rina hi okay miss rina is going to show us how to make this earth model and we will be able to see all the layers of planet Earth, okay? We're going to open all these different plasticines and keep them ready. Okay, so we are going to sort the colors and keep them like this, okay? So we've got, what colors are these? Pink, orange, yellows, brown, blue, and green. Okay, so let's watch how to make our model of the earth and then see the layers. Okay. So first, Miss Rina is making a ball with the pink plasticine. Then she takes the orange plasticine and flattens it like that. We put the pink ball in the orange plasticine and cover it like this. Wow, it looks like a ball. Let's cover all the pink. Now it looks like an orange ball. Now, Serena took the yellow, the dark yellow, and flattened it again. Press it and make it as flat as you can. Right, and you put the orange ball inside and cover it like this. We can't see the orange anymore. Okay, now Ms. Rina has taken the other yellow and she's going to flatten it some more. I'm going to again put our round ball in here and press the yellow plasticine to cover it. You can use your finger to spread the plasticine like this. Okay, 
Okay, does your ball look like this? Look, Miss Rina is pressing it so it looks smooth. Now she has the bigger brown plasticine. Take off the plastic and take half of it and first press it again in your hand. Press, press it, make it flat. Put the yellow ball inside there and again cover it with brown. Okay, if it's less, you can take some more, pinch it off there, flatten it and put it over. Now we have the blue plasticine. So now take both the blues and mix them together like this and flatten it. You need to press and flatten it. All right, put the brown ball inside the blue and Spread it over. covered with blue. Miss Rena is making the ball smooth. Wow, does that, what shape is that? Who remembers? It's a sphere, right? It's a sphere, it looks like a ball. Now, what is this? This is going to be our planet covered with water. Okay, so now take the green plasticine and divide it into little bits. Take them and press each bit very flat. And now you can put these on planet Earth. Hmm. They look like the continents. You can make it any shape, right? You can make it any shape you want and stick it like this 
on our Earth model. Rina has broken these into smaller bits because she wants to have how many continents, Miss Rina? Seven continents. Right, so Miss Rina wants to have seven on the planet Earth because there are seven continents. So show us your model, Rina. Look, Ms. Rina has a planet Earth model. And can you show us yours? Nice. Now we are going to cut this planet Earth model so you can see the layers of the oh. Earth. Right. Ms. Rina has a plastic knife. And what are you going to do now, Ms. Rina? I will cut the Earth. Very good. Let's see. Look what we see when we cut it open. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can you see all these layers? Wow. Once you have cut the labels, take the label and put the toothpick behind like that and put some cello tape on it. Okay, you can ask someone to help you if you need any help. And this is what your label will look like. Okay, and you have six labels. Let's keep them aside. Rina, yes. do you remember how many layers the earth has? We have four layers in the earth. Very good. So now let's watch as Miss Rina. Let's take the first, the what should we take first? Let's take the outermost. Let's take the outermost layer. What is that called, Miss Rina? Crust. Crust. The crust is where we live. So can you see all the brown land and the blue water forms? That is the outermost layer. And we live in the crust. Then who remembers? What is inside the crust the mantle very good and inside the mantle is the remembers the outer core very good and finally the center of the earth is the inner core. Very nice. So here you have the four layers of planet earth. Okay. And now we also have two more tags. Miss Rina has two more. What are these? What does it say? water and land very good we can take the other half of the earth and who can find the land the brown land yes and where is the water yes all the blue areas are the water so wow look at what miss rena has made do you want to show us let's click a picture of miss rena holding this and then you can also send us a lovely picture of your model of planet Earth. Okay? Bye, children. Bye. Say thank you, Miss Rina, for your beautiful creativity.